Ok, Nabu. Yes, I am listening. Turn on office light. Turn down the light. Ok, Nabu. How can I help you? Turn off office light. Turn off the light. Ok, Nabu. Turn on office light. Turn down the light. Ok, Nabu. How can I help you? I want to speak in Romanian. Done. Ok, Nabu. Cu ce pot să te ajut? Stinge lumina din birou. Am stins lumina. Hello, dear home assistant enthusiasts. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to use custom random responses on the Home Assistant voice satellite. If you already have this satellite installed on your Home Assistant, you can go to my GitHub page which I will link in the description and there you can find instructions on how to do it. First, go to the ESP Home Add-in interface and click on the Show button on the top right to see the discovered devices. Then click the Take Control button of the satellite you want to configure and then click Edit. Then go to my GitHub page and click on this link with which you will navigate to the official page of the Home Assistant Voice Satellite. Copy the code of this satellite. and paste it in the edit window of the satellite you are configuring. Then from the top of the original code copy all these lines of code to the corresponding sections in the new code. From substitutions, copy name and friendly name. Then comment these two lines of code about packages. From the ES Foam section copy the name and friendly name lines and add them to the ES Foam section of the new code. From the API section we copy the encryption key and paste it in the corresponding section. And in the same way we also copy the lines of code from the Wi-Fi section. Then delete all those lines at the top that were part of the original code. Then go to my GitHub page and follow the instructions. Copy these lines of code. And add them to the switch section. Then copy these lines which you add in the binary sensor section. Add the following lines of code to the script section. And finally add these lines of code to the top of the on wake word detection section of the micro wake word section. Then click on save and then on install and select wires sly. Close the log window and the editing window. Then go to the satellite interface, in settings, integrations, ESP home and check the changes made to the satellite. Check for custom responses switch and wake word detected sensor. Then go to Settings, Automations, and click on Create Automation. Select Create New Automation. Add Trigger. Entity. State. In the Entity field we look for the Wake Word Detect Sensor of the satellite we want to configure. And in the To field select On. 
and under the Add Action section look for Media Player and then select Play Media. Then in the Search Media Player field search for the configured Satellite Media Player. Click in the Pick Media section and, from Text to Speech, select the Text to Speech service and the desired language. Then write the desired message and then click on the Select button. Then from the three-dot menu at the top right corner select Edit in YAML. And then copy the line with random messages from my GitHub page and paste it in the media section content ID exactly in place of the original message, between message and language. If you want you can completely delete the metadata section because it is not necessary for what we need in this project. But it is necessary to add a line with an ounce. True. Click the Save button, give the automation a name, I'll call it Home Assistant Voice Custom Responses, and click Save again. Then go to the configured satellite graphical interface and you can test the custom responses you added. Okay, Nabo. How can I assist you? Turn on off his light. Turn on the light. If you want to use more assistance or more languages, you can use this automation. Go to the automations page and open the automation we just created. In the add action section, select to add a choose action. At option 1, click on Add Condition. Select Entity and then State. Then in the Entity field look for the pipeline assist of the satellite you want to configure. And in the State field select the pipeline name of the first voice assistant you want to use. And move the random responses you created earlier to the Action section of the first option. Then click on the Add Option button and then on Add Condition. Select Entity and then State. In the Entity field look for the Assist Pipeline of the configured satellite, and under State select the name of the pipeline from the second voice assistant you want to add. Then in the Add Action section select Media Player and then click on Play Media. Select the Media Player corresponding to the configured satellite, then from Pick Media select Text-to-Speech and the desired Text-to-Speech service. Then select the desired language for the second voice assistant and write the desired message, then click on the Select button. Select Edit in YAML from the Automation's top right three-dot menu and you can delete metadata from calling the Media Player service from the second option. Copy the random responses template from the first option and paste it in the second option instead of the message I originally wrote, same as in the first option, between message and language. And replace the English responses with the desired second language responses. Then add the line of code with announce true. And click save. Then go to the satellite interface to test if the random responses work for two satellites just by changing the pipeline. Okay, Nabu. How can I assist you? Turn on off your light. Turn down the light. Okay, Nabu. Stinge lumina din birou. Am stins lumina. And finally, if you want to change your voice assistance or language via voice commands, you can make an automation for that too.
At the trigger select sentence and write the command you want to use in the first language to change the pipeline for the second language. From the tree dots menu select edit ID and put a name for the first trigger. Do the same for the second trigger. Click Add Action, select Shows, and in the first option select the condition triggered by, then select the ID of the first trigger. Then in the Action section from the first option choose Select, and in Entity look for Pipeline Assist corresponding to the satellite you are configuring. And in the field at option write the name at pipeline of the second voice assistant or the second language. Do the same for the second option, but select in the condition triggered by the ID of the second trigger and in the selector write the pipeline name of the first voice assistant or the first language. Click on save, give the automation a name and then save again. Then go to the satellite interface to test this automation. Okay, Nabu. How can I assist you? I want to speak in Romanian. Done. Okay, Nabu. Cum pot să te ajut? Vreau să vorbesc în engleză. Donet. Ok, Nabu. How can I help you? Turn off office light. Turn off the light.